Good morning, everybody. It is nine o'clock, more or less, Saturday morning. We are headed towards the Lake George Wild Forest, and we just left the paved road. We're on Sly Pond Road, headed towards Shelving Rock Road. And um, it looked too good to be true. The GPS said we had four miles to go to the intersection where the uh, state land and wild forest starts. But it's a beautiful day. Um, high, thin, scattered clouds sun all over the place we got a real early start this morning the boys wanted to get out of the trailer for some reason Caesar took off after a couple of squirrels or chipmunks into neighboring campsites luckily everybody was asleep <laughs> but uh, now we're going down into the woods and uh, looking for a free campsite for the night We are in the Lake George Wild Forest. This is one of the trailheads. As you can see, it says Campsite 10 is in the woods. So quite a few of these campsites are um, pack it in only. You can't uh, you can't park in camp along the road unless it's designated locations. So we're uh, we're following the road. It's a good road. I don't know what they'd say if you had a motor home. You came in here. You have to be able to park it, pack your stuff into a tent, I suppose. <laughs> and then you set up the tent and sleep in the motor home. But we're going down a pretty good hill. This is a gravel dirt road. It's in good shape. It is the week after Labor Day. So usually this is the first week the college kids come out camping. There are a lot of colleges around Lake George. And so there's a lot of campers, camping clubs in the colleges. This is a narrow dirt road and it's getting a little on the rough side. Here's a parking spot, a little flat, no camping, it's the no camping sign up there. It's a little stream, nice little stream, we'll keep going then. Campsite 11 is up in the woods there. So this is not very motor home or, or trailer ready. side of the road with water. I'm going down a pretty good hill now. Campsite number 12. Most of these campsites have cars on them. Like I say, it's um, it's not a good, great weekend to find an abandoned campsite because the kids are back at college.
shelving rock falls because there's a hiking trail there this is day use area parking along the road. <sighs> There's a big parking lot. Big parking lot with a privy over there. Outhouse. But again, it says no camping. So, parking area number one. We are on this trail. Um, the parking area is right over there. This little stream runs under the road here, but it also runs along the road. There's the road up there. And uh, it just keeps going down. So we thought we'd take a hike and see if we can get down to where it has some nice waterfalls and stuff. It's a really nice stream. Um, there are people here. We met a couple of campers that are came in Friday morning and are leaving this morning. <clears throat> so, as you can see, the stream is going down and we are going up. But it's a really nice stream. So, we're hiking. That's what we like. We like to hike. Well, hopefully we won't see any bears, and I'm sure we won't see any moose on this trail. And anyways, I'll bring you back when there's something interesting. These are called coral fungus. And while these ones are a little old, these are pretty good to eat when they first come up. And there's a big, there's a big patch of them here. Um, a lot of dead wood, a lot of uh, hemlocks and pine trees, which uh, really do a good job of making mushrooms. It's a pretty area. Get the rocks and the, the trees and everything. This is an old forest. The boys are having fun. All the camping we've seen so far, we went out shelving rock road. And all the campsites are carry-in campsites. You, you couldn't drive into them or anything like that. Um, they have nice parking areas, so the road is passable by a motorhome, as long as you're not too picky. But um, we're moving away from the stream. The stream is way down there now. We're in a pretty good cliff. Let's, I guess we'll we'll try to get down there without getting killed. Let's. See. This is kind of interesting. Um, we're just making our way down towards the stream. Well, the boys are already down there, of course, in the water. Um, we were up there, and uh, we just were following down, and we come across this. Uh, little tiny foundation. This is obviously some kind of a root cellar or something like that. But uh, pretty neat. Hopefully it's not somebody's grave, but <laughs> you find all sorts of things in these woods. These woods were colonial settlements and uh, pretty nice. 
But those are, they're climbing on rocks. So they're just, this is just all solid rock. And right up there is, I think, a waterfalls. That's kind of our target. The way up there, I think that's a, it seems to fall off there. So I'm going to assume that's a waterfalls. See if we can get there. Well, we made it down to the bottom. Um, it's not really as impressive, but um, this is where we were, way up there. Way up on top of that. It's a pretty neat little falls. Campsite 11. It's alongside of this stream we've been following. Across a little bridge. We'll go in and see what it's like. We're a group of four here when we first parked. They've left. It's pretty nice to have a campsite with a stream right next to it for um, getting water for washing or cooking or whatever. As I've said before, some of these streams are just so pure. I mean, there's no agriculture or anything around here. Not sure where the campsite is. Looks like somebody has camped right here. That looks almost like a fire pit. But there's garbage, as usual. Anytime you come to these places, please bring an extra garbage bag to clean up from the pigs before you. Well, this must be the actual campsite. There's the number up on the tree. Sorry, it's into the sun. You probably can't see it. There it is. Number 11. And must have brought a lot of beer because there's ice, there's their fire. There's the privy up there on the hill. There is a, an outhouse way up there. We're at the parking lot at the beginning of the wild forest. This is the Hogtown parking lot. And it's a busy place. People are coming up here to hike, I guess. And we're going to drive down the road at the Hogtown parking lot. Right into the dragon's mouth, so to speak. This is the road to the eastern part of the wild forest. And I would not suggest anything come down this that is in four wheel drive and independent. <laughs> if I meet anybody on this, I don't know what we'll do because I don't have any place to go and neither do I they. And there's no backing up, there's no, uh, there's no pulling over, so. This was kind of foolish. Though there are a lot of cars down here. Here's campsite number two over in the woods there, and here is a parking spot, which I think we may pull into. Turn around. Well. We are at Darcy Clearing at the end of the eastern road in the Lake George Wild Forest. And this is the parking area. It's a fairly large parking area. Um, it's got room for lots of cars. And there are three campsites here um, where that gentleman is way down there. That's one campsite. 
although I think it really goes way up the hill. I think it's actually up there, but he's down there at the bottom. There's another one that's down through the woods over there, and then there's one where we are, back in the woods back over here. That's another campsite. Campsite 6, I think it is. You can see that up there. Campsite 5, I guess. We're going to say that's where we are. We've got our solar up. Um, we're not charging off the car for some reason. Must have blown the fuse or done, done something. But this is a pretty big parking area. Lots of uh, lots of trails to go places. There's a road going that way. And this is the road we came in on. And there's a uh, handicap horse loading platform here. It's uh, for you bring the horse in between the the porch there, set the port the horse right there, and then somebody can get on it from either side. Um, the only thing is, I don't know how you'd get a horse trailer in this road. This road is not. Um, my trailer is definitely well stirred inside, fully shaken and stirred. But uh, it's a nice little stream over here. It's a nice place. Not quite as much garbage out here as I've seen at some of the other campsites. But uh, here's some of the some of the trails. None too far.